Hey everyone, Walter here and welcome to this video. Today I'm reviewing the brand new Ania X3 Pro full-size carbon fiber guitar. This is actually a simpler version of the X4 Pro model. This looks more uh, like a traditional acoustic guitar with the standard uh, centered uh, sound hole as opposed to the offset sound hole on the X4 Pro model. Uh, so this guitar has a full scale uh, length of 24 and 3 quarters of an inch with an elevated neck passing the 14th uh, fret. has very nice and smooth uh, fret ends. The uh, nut width is uh, 1 and 1 16th or uh, uh, almost 43 millimeters, 42.9 millimeters. Now the tuning machines, they have a nice uh, uh, dark chrome finish. They feel very solid and hold the guitar in tune very well. And the same finish goes with this ring around the sound hole. So they match pretty well. I really like uh, the way uh, it looks. Now one thing that really caught my eye when I first got this guitar was the single button that operates the pickup system. Uh, I love the way how minimalistic it looks, very nice and clean design and very easy to operate. So the way the system works is you hold the button for a couple of seconds and the system turns on. If you push the button again for about a second or so, it changes to a uh, blue and the blue indicates that you are on the re in the reverb uh, mode. all the way now if you push it again it goes to uh, the light green mo uh, mode which is the delay mode now let me give it a little less now if you uh, push it again it turns uh, into the purple uh, mode, which is the wah mode. And if you do it again, it's going to go to the green mode, which is the chorus mode. Now the only thing about the one button operation is that you can only use one effect at a time. Now a workaround would be using the app. If you use the Ania app and you connect the guitar via Bluetooth, then you can use all the four effects at the same time and mix them. You can also plug in the guitar. Here at the bottom, uh, there's a standard uh, quarter inch output for an amplifier or audio interface and an USB-C port for charging. Now I'm gonna plug in the guitar into my audio interface so you can uh, hear how it sounds like. So here's the guitar plugged in with a little bit of reverb. Now with a little bit of delay. Now with a wah sound. And here are my final thoughts on this guitar. The sound projection is really, really loud. It's very impressive. And by the way, I tuned the guitar a whole step down. sustain. I mean love the sound, great guitar. If you're looking for more of a simple guitar, you know, mainly acoustic with, you know, the effects, uh, 
and the Bluetooth connectivity. The app is great. You have so many uh, functionalities on the app. So, and it's uh, quite a few hundred dollars less than the, X, than, than the X4. So I think this is a great pick. Uh, it comes with a nice uh, padded uh, gig bag with a cable. Now there's only one thing that I wish it was a little, you know, different. Not with the guitar per se, but with the, the setup out of the box. Uh, the action was a little too high, at least for my taste, for my playing style, and I speak for myself now. I understand there's so many different, uh, you know, playing styles. Some people prefer uh, a little higher action because of the strumming. Uh, but for me, I wish the action was a little lower. Uh, it was an easy fix, you know, no, not a big deal. But rather than that, I think it's, you know, it's a great guitar, especially for the price tag. I think you're, you know, getting a lot of guitar for what you're paying for here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to leave uh, some links in the video description so you can check out the guitar, get more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.